Hello, this lecture is part of the Airlines Management course taught in Linköping University. And before looking at this lecture, it may make sense to familiarize yourself with the fleet assignment and the aircraft routing. So in this lecture, we will be considering filling the aircraft with crew members. Just to remind you the pipeline, we start from the schedule, which is probably decided at the strategic phase of uh, airline planning. Uh, these vertical lines represent uh, airports and the arrows represent the fl different flights that you fly uh, between the airports. And uh, after the fleet assignment, we have colored all the links uh, in the schedule with uh, the corresponding fleet types. So a color corresponds to a fleet type. In particular, in this case, we have three fleet types. So color the links with the three colors. Now, if you remember for the aircraft routing, which we considered in the previous lecture, we considered every color network separately. So we were trying to come up with routes for the aircraft and uh, while well, the links in the network for a certain fleet time would have to be split between concrete aircraft of that fleet type. Uh, the question is, what about crew scheduling? If we have to assign the crew members to the different fleet types or to the different aircraft, the different aircraft routes, how do we go about that? So this is by no means an easy problem in large aircraft. And of course the jumbo jet is our usual uh, example of uh, complications that may arise um, in airline management, uh, there are quite a few crew members. And um, as uh, you may guess, and we will look at it uh, later in this lecture, scheduling people is more complicated than scheduling machines, than scheduling the aircraft. In particular, uh, here is again uh, an example from the textbook. So this is an example uh, of a route for a crew member uh, just as for aircraft, uh, the route consists from actual flights and then gaps between the flights, which can be, you know, the, well, not the turnaround process, but the process when the crew connects from uh, one aircraft to another and the remaining overnight well, layovers, uh, the time when uh, crew members stay at different airports. And uh, in principle, uh, this is very much like uh, the aircraft route, uh, which again consists from uh, you know, the uh, flights and uh, the periods between the flights, which are either uh, turnaround times or uh, the times when the aircraft remains overnight at an airport. So uh, uh, again, returning to the aircraft routing, the reason why we were doing the aircraft routing color by color is because, well, different colors are different aircraft types and hence of course a different aircraft. So there was no sense um, to merge uh, any colors into a single color and consider aircraft routing for two different uh, fleet types. So when we're speaking about the crew pairing, well still different colors correspond to different aircraft types the question is, do they necessarily correspond, let's say, to different pilots? And the answer is uh, that in general, no. I mean, pilots typically uh, are qualified to fly several aircraft of uh, the same family. So, you know, each of these aircraft, so aircraft from Airbus, they are different fleet types. And of course, each of these aircraft from Boeing are different fleet types, but uh, from the point of view of a pilot, while well, a pilot can be qualified to fly all of these or can be qualified to fly all of these. So each of these fleet types would have its own network and or its own color in the fleet assignment and hence uh, will be treated separately in the aircraft routing. But when we are talking about uh, the pilots, we may merge all these fleet types into a single network and we will merge all these fleet types into a single network when we are considering uh, a route for a trip pair 
for a single pilot. So what we can do, we can merge, let's say, different uh, aircraft types that correspond well, to different models, let's say, of uh, Boeing 737. And uh, after the merge, after we have uh, done the merge, we can do separately uh, crew scheduling for this color, which is a merged color, and for this color, uh, which is for an aircraft type different from Boeing 737. So that's about the pilots. And uh, in fact, there is uh, all this whole tendency and uh, even a wiki page uh, for something called commonality. The aircraft and uh, well, uh, uh, other products, they are being made so that the same people could operate uh, different kinds of products so because this uh, saves um, money and time in training and getting spare parts and so on. So yeah, that's uh, just again to substantiate the claim that uh, the same pilot may fly several types uh, of aircraft, at least from uh, the same manufacturer. Okay, uh, so that was about uh, scheduling the pilots. When we are talking about the cabin crew, uh, we can do even a further merge. So usually uh, a cabin crew member is qualified either to fly a narrow body or a wide body jet, and they care even less than pilots what aircraft type it is, what kind of narrow or wide body jet it is. So essentially, from our fleet assignment, again, we have uh, the networks for the different fleet types, but we can merge all the networks, let's say, for the wide bodies into a single network, and similar can merge uh, all the networks for the narrow bodies, and for each of these merged networks, do uh, the cabin crew assignment separately. So, uh, well, that uh, was quick. More or less, we are done with the crew pairing. Uh, we can do it again, color by color, uh, after different levels of mergings. So in this sense, it's quite similar to aircraft routing. And uh, yes, as we already mentioned uh, during the course, uh, Pairing people is more complicated than uh, scheduling machines uh, for various reasons. Most of them well, relate to the fact that people need to get uh, back to their home base. Uh, aircraft don't care where they stay uh, overnight. But there are also lots and lots of rules that uh, cover uh, how the schedule for a single person, a uh, crew member, or a pilot may look like. And here again, uh, Tobias was. Uh, gathering some of uh, the rules uh, from the, um, yeah, I'm not sure this kind of uh, RBS belasting um, for the Swedish carriers. Uh, yes, uh, here are more of them. There are many more uh, rules that you need to take into account when uh, uh, you scheduling people. Okay, so we have created different trip pairs or itineraries, so uh, they sometimes call pairings trips. And uh, any trip line like this should be given to a person. And uh, this question of assigning the different uh, trip pairs to uh, different people, uh, it goes uh, differently between the US and uh, EU. Uh, we don't go into the details uh, of that, uh, but there are some seniority rules that uh, come into the play and some bids and so on. Uh, you may get the details uh, if you go work for an airline. We really don't uh, cover this assignment uh, in the course. Yeah, so here are some of the difference, again, which you might have seen um, uh, when you took uh, TNFL 01. I don't know if, if it's still there. Uh, you may look at the crew scheduling uh, lecture in uh, the MIT course. Uh, this is very long and uh, I don't plan to go into that in the lecture. So just to finish, uh, here is the slide from uh, an MIT course. Uh, and uh, we have looked at various stages in the schedule planning for an airline. So the schedule design is again part of the strategic phase. We don't look uh, into that, decide 
from where to where you want to fly, which markets you want to serve, which origin of these nations. So fleet assignment is assigning aircraft types to the flights. Uh, then, uh, yes, the aircraft routing. Uh, we looked at that in the previous lecture. Uh, we mostly have to care about uh, maintenance of aircraft. And uh, crew assignment is something that we have looked at in this lecture. And uh, to summarize, here is the cheat sheet for you for uh, airline resource management, at least when it comes to resources such as plane and uh, people. We start from a schedule, we do fleet assignment which is you know, the coloring of the links with different fleet types. Then from the fleet assignment, uh, we do aircraft routing, and that's really done type by type. For the crew pairing, you merge some of these colors. And of course, there is some interconnection between aircraft routing and crew pairing. So it makes a difference uh, whether the crew stays on the same plane and then well the turn around or the connection time is essentially zero or uh, the crew has to go from one uh, plane to uh, another but still uh, these two things aircraft routing and crew pairing uh, may be done more or less independently and then after you have created trip pairs then you assign them to concrete people uh, via roster and a bid lines, depending on which side of the Atlantic you are. And uh, similarly for the aircraft, after you created these kind of anonymous uh, routes for the aircraft, you assign them to the specific aircraft that you have in your fleet. And this is usually uh, done about well, a month before the operation. And uh, yeah, this summary slide uh, finishes uh, our look at uh, the airlines resource management when it comes uh, to the fleet and uh, people.